Man, this is a great show. They drag these idiots up on stage and then blindside them. <laughs> like, like this one guy didn't know he was actually two midgets. Oh, those poor unsuspecting people. Well, maybe some of them deserved it. Hello, and welcome to Diane. Today's guest is tired of being embarrassed by her family. Meg, how did you get these tickets again? Let's bring them up right now. Meg, whatever problems we have can be settled in the privacy of... The Griffin family. <laughs> Shuckers. Uh-oh. And we're back. Griffins, do you have anything to say to your daughter? I can't believe you do this to us, Meg. Maybe now I won't give you the antidote. To what? To the poison you just drank. <laughs> See what I mean? This is not normal. You there, bingo. It seems the naughty baby has made a messy poo in it. Say, what's this? Volume. Volume! Look, what's a big deal? I mean, we're just a regular American family. We have family dinners and we go to church together. Yeah, and, and you even managed to humiliate me there. <laughs> Whoa, is that really the blood of Christ? Yes. Man. That guy must have been wasted 24 hours a day, eh? We have a caller on the line. Go ahead. Yes, yes. I say, do you have Prince Albert in a can? <laughs> <laughs> quiet, quiet, quiet. Shut up, shut up. Um, well, you'd better let him out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Meg, you have two parents who love you, and... What does that say to me? Oh, go f*** yourself, Diane. She said a swear. Peter, do you think there might be any validity to what Meg is feeling? Who are you calling Uncle Tom? What? Okay, time out. This kind of acrimony isn't going to resolve our differences. Just Please? shut up and throw a chair. 